Today, I'm going to be replacing this Japanese Pokemon Blue's internal battery. As you can see, it still saves, but this is the original battery from September of 1999. Probably doesn't have much life left in it. First, I'll back up the original save using Inside Gadget's GBX Rewritable. Then, I'll take off the back screw and open up the game. I remove the battery by reflowing the solder on the connection points of the battery and lifting up using the whole of the battery until it comes loose. Once the battery is off, I give the game's connection points a good clean with some isopropyl alcohol and a cotton swab. After that, it's time for the install. I first make sure to check which side of the battery is positive and which connection on the board is positive. Then, I add a little solder to the positive pad and I place the battery on top. After that, I reflow the solder by heating up the connection on the battery until that heats up the solder and the battery connection sinks into the solder. The negative terminal still had a huge glob of solder on it from the factory, so I just reflow that without adding any new solder until the negative connection sinks in. Then, I close up the game and make sure it still works. It does, so I restore the original save, and voila! a working, clean copy of Japanese Pokemon Blue with a new battery.